Alright, so um, today's a fish feeding. It's everybody's hungry right now, so I think this is going to be a success. Everybody's moving around. So I have a quite a menagerie of food. I have mice, I have lizards, I have um, actually one shad, and then I have a um, Mexican spadefoot toad, which isn't poisonous like the Colorado River toads. And it's a tiny little one, so I found it dead in the pool. Figured I'd put it to use. So that's half a lizard. There it goes. There's the other half of that lizard. To the other female green sunfish. Alright, let's see if a female bass. Where'd she go? Hey miss, where'd you go? She was just up at the front a second ago, acting real hungry. Mm -hmm. Hi miss. Got something for you. Well, let's drop in another lizard and see what happens. Oh, is he going to eat that whole thing? He might. That would be crazy. The female bass is chasing him around. I guess she went once in on the action. Where is she? She's behind there somewhere. Hey, miss. I have a mouse for you. Come out and you get a mouse. Most of these animals that I'm giving to them are casualties of the swimming pool. I think he's going to eat that whole thing. That's incredible. <laughs> wow. Sorry about the lighting. Um, the living room lights off right now. It's pretty late at night. Um, so when the fish come up to the front, the lights in the back and it shadows them. Okay, let's see if she wants the mouse now. Come on. She was just up acting all hungry a minute ago. You know what, I'm gonna drop this toad in and see what happens. Boom. Well, the female green's got it. And... Oh, she dropped it. Maybe one of the catfish will find it. Sitting back there. Jeff's near it. And he went right past. They might smell it. Oh, oh. And Jeff's got it. I think that's the last anybody's seen of that toad. Because he just ate it. And Paul's looking around for some. She's real hungry. I got fish meat for her too, so. None of them will go hungry tonight. Alright, well now everybody but Paul and the bass have been fed. Paul is the female bullhead catfish. So, some fish meat. Well, I guess they weren't quite done eating. <laughs> I guess Paul will get that. Um, Alright, well, the bluegill always tend to prefer smaller bits of meat. So, well, the green sunfish got that. Big deal, I got more. Hey, Bill. Is Bill hungry? I guess Bill's not hungry. And those green sunfish are picking out today. I bet Ted's hungry though. Hey, Ted. You missed it. Ted. There you go. Let's see if the little green, he's this one up right, right in front. He didn't go for it. Yeah, he's really underweight right now. The tilapia beat the tar out of him. He wouldn't let him get any food. And now the tilapia are out. They're in a pond. And then uh, Bill became a problem. 
he made a nest in this whole half of the tank and he would just make laps to um, pound on anybody who came basically like that far from the side wall basically the entire tank he would just pummel the other fish it was for days and days on end even in the middle of the night he would do it and so I put him outside in with the tilapia and they beat the tar out of him and so he's got damaged fins um, he's looking a lot better they're all healing now he's doing much better um, but then as soon as I took him out literally within the same day asshole did the same thing became the same problem not quite as bad and so I put asshole outside and I brought Bill back in and um, Bill was out there for three days asshole was out there for um, maybe two and asshole died um, the tilapia killed him I had gone out there about noon and he was getting chased around and I figured oh, I'll, I'll leave him for a little while because you know Bill lasted much longer in there and then I figured I'd take him in that night I go out a couple hours later and he was dead so I don't know why Bill lasted longer but well that was that for the other fish to survive for Bill to survive and um, I think for that little green sunfish well who's really the biggest green sunfish to survive I felt like I needed to take asshole out and before him Bill so I did what I had to do because I didn't have any other tanks to put them in and well it went south really quick so that's why asshole is no longer in here The bass still aren't looking very hungry. They were all wagging around up at the top a couple minutes ago, and then they stopped. So I don't know what their problem is. But I'll come back in another 20 minutes or so, and they should be hungry by then. All right, now, while I'm waiting on the bass, I have this little tank down here. And I've shown it before, it's got four baby channel catfish, which have grown quite a lot. Um, as soon as I can, I'm going to get the bass out in a pond, and the channel catfish will go in the big tank. As will this little sunfish, so this tank will be empty for a while. Um, it's a very well-balanced tank. However, being so low down, it's very hard to siphon, and so I very rarely do water changes. But the filters seem to do a good enough job. There's enough um, surface area. Everybody's happy. I got a lizard. It's a tiny lizard for this fish. Missed. All right. Oh. Okay, catfish got spooked. Maybe they'll eat it. Maybe. Just hoping he would eat that. I'm gonna try again. All right. Well, the catfish had flipped it out, flipped out, and um, stirred up the substrate quite a bit. So. Let's try again. And again, he misses. Look at all that mess. Yeah. I really need to clean this tank. Um, but here's a bunch of fish for the catfish, and that sunfish will eat it too. Oh my gosh. What is up with him? Feeding them was a bust, so let's see if I can feed this crayfish. It just molted. The other day, as you can see by the molts laying around, and now he's got a piece of fish meat, so I'm sure he'll be quite happy. Catfish are still making a ruckus over there. That is way more than usual that they stir up that muck. There he is. He's got two air stones in here right now, actually. And now I can't see him anymore, so... Yeah, all that muck's really telling me I need to clean out that tank. 
My only problem with doing so is that I've got all those plants in there and those plants are doing fantastic. Except for perhaps the water lily who would like to be outside in the full sun. Um, and those plants I don't think are going to do nearly as well if I take out all the nutrients that have built up in there. Because that gravel's full of muck. And that's where the catfish are stirring up. But that muck allows the plants to grow and do amazingly well. And I don't think they would without that. So. I think I'll definitely get most of it though. Pretty soon. I'm going on a camping trip this uh, day after tomorrow. So it won't be happening this week. Yeah, crayfish is now happy. Let's see if the bass are hungry. Well, the female might be. So, let's see. Okay, I guess she's not. Darn, they are just being so picky today. <clears throat> she was up at the front like, Give me food, give me food. And then I try to feed her and she goes away. And won't eat anything. Well, Paul never got this piece of fish meat. So, where's Paul? I'm going to give this to Paul. Oh, Paul. I know you smell it. They have taste buds over their entire bodies. Catfish do. Darn it, the green sunfish spooked her. Give me a little butthole, miss. Well, that's the area where they hang out, so I'm sure she'll find it a lot sooner there. So yeah, um, bullheads are monogamous. That's Jeff in front, and then there's Paul back there. And um, they have spawned once. And all their babies, really except for three, um, got eaten by these other fish because uh, they didn't take them out in time it was really difficult to get them out because they were small enough to fit between the bits of the gravel and yet they were strong enough swimmers to resist the siphon so the only ones I know of that are alive are the three that I gave to a friend so, yeah, bass are being boogers I did get this go, this though. Um, it's an apple snail egg sac on the uh, filter intake. I haven't gotten one that big in quite some time, so that's good. The reason for the pencil there is because this tank, the uh, lip, um, the, the filter doesn't fit quite on the lip, and it hangs back way farther. Um, yeah, it's just much better with the pencil there. Pushes it out a little bit over to the tank, so it's a little bit more upright. Overall, I think that was... That, it's worked for several years now, so... I think that's pretty good. Bass are still not wanting to eat. Wow, okay. Alright, well... Um, Bill and Ted both got some more fish food. I put in some regular cichlid pellets. And they're still picking off a couple. Um, the little green, the one who's really thin back there, he actually ate quite a few today. So I think he's on the mend. The bass are still being picky. They're not wanting to eat right now. I'm sure they will tomorrow, of course, when I'm not filming. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe? No. Okay. If they want it, they attack it right off the bat. And they didn't. So, I guess they don't want it. Um, Paul evidently ate something. I assume it was fish meat. Because she seems pretty content now. She's got a decent belly. Belly expanded a little bit. So, she ate something. Not sure what it was. Um, Bill got some food. That green sunfish back there got some food. Everybody's been fed except for the bass. And there's some fish meat in there still. 
for the crayfish and apple snails to eat. So I think overall it was all right. Bass, it's late at night. It's what time is it? It's almost two in the morning. So it's way later than I normally keep the light on, and that probably has something to do with it. So I'm sure they'll eat tomorrow because they seem pretty hungry, and I might film that. I'm not sure. I filmed at least the female bass eating a mouse before, and I got that shad for her. That shad is freezer burnt, so I don't know that she's going to eat it, but we'll see. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this really long-winded video, so bye-bye.